I gently plant a kiss on Sayori's lips. Good morning, Sayori. Morning. I love this. Me too. Do you wanna... you know? Okay. Well, I've had it my whole life, I guess. I've just always felt like I didn't matter as much as anyone else. And I thought that I'd feel better making other people happy. But it never changed. I think my mom noticed after a few years. So it was placed in the therapy. But that, and the fact that I'm awkward and clumsy, I didn't have a lot of friends. And then, when I got older, I met this person who changed everything. Hiragi. Yeah. And then she introduced me to Ren. And then you started taking antidepressants? Mm-hmm. Well, you have me now. I embrace her, hands roaming her curves. Mm. Stop. Sorry. No, it's just... you're being... Casual about it? Mm-hmm. Hey, I'm here for you. Whenever you want to talk. I know. But I was serious before. You do too much. Siri, I already told you. I'm doing it for me. I want to help you. There's nothing wrong with letting someone help you if they want to. But you're spending so much energy on some... Shut up already, Sayori. You're not changing my mind. Now come here. Siri shifts over and sits on top of me. Now, can I continue? She went to bed in that? Maybe later. <laughs> Cry mini. Okay, you want to talk about anything? No, I'm still just a bit confused. I moved some of her hair from her face. About what? Just about me. I don't know. I... Oh, Ali, I wasn't expecting you to be here. Siori's mom eyes the red dress from last night, which was carelessly left where it had been tossed. Well, I just came in to see what, or what you wanted for breakfast, and also to tell you Nelsky called. Can you tell her I want to go over? Sure. Hallie, you should probably go. Right, Sayori? I just need to talk to Nelsky for a bit. I don't... My god, she's such a quick change artist. That's not regret. <laughs> So, what did you want to talk about? We'll find out in just a little bit, Natsuki, because it occurred to me that even after I did that, I forgot to go back and try the other date options. So let's load that up and see what else we can do there. Also, what was this? What was this option? Hold up. Oh, I don't know why I saved here. But possibly to get a better ending. This is like the other date save, wasn't it? Well, hold on. No, no, no. What was this one? What was this one? No, no, it was just more options. We never we never bothered to revisit these either, did we? <laughs> oh well, let, let's go check out the, the date combinations. Let's go to the disco club this time. I think I know so we can have some real fun. Oh yeah, let's just hover over the skip button in case I need it. I don't think I will. Are we gonna dance? But of course, milady. Don't you want to? No, I do. I dance with Sayori. She's got a bad case of two left feet, but it doesn't hamper our fun. Just to hold her and twirl her around gets my hair. My heart racing. Damn, is she cute. That's pretty obvious. So... You mentioned last time you wanted a career related to health? Well, Florida. I wanted a career that could help people like me. But I feel like I'm not cut off for anything because I'm... I'm all and clumsy and I make dumb decisions. Well, that's insulting. Sayori laughs at this. I didn't mean you. Well, who cares if you're any of those things? You're you, Sayori. And I love you. And whatever you want to do, just go for it. What's wrong? You didn't lose a step, did you? I don't think I ever found one. <laughs> well, you know, practice makes perfect. So let's do this again sometime. You got it. You know, you can talk to me about anything, Sayori. I know. I promise you will soon. Okay, that's all I wanted to hear. So who's hungry? I am. Okay, then. Let's eat at... Yeah, there he goes. Once again, it's like the same three options I've seen, so... That one restaurant. Sayori sits down. The waiter takes our order. Sayori orders the miso katsu. I decide to go for the wagyu beef. Sayori immediately starts eating her miso katsu as the bowl is placed in front of her. God, she's even cute when she's gluttonous. I think there might be something wrong with me. I pick up a piece of the wagyu and eat it. This restaurant has really good food. Huh? Oh, sure. I wait for her to pass the bowl over. 
Instead, she takes some of the red, her, her breaded pork cutlet and holds it halfway across the table. She places her napkin on the table to catch the crumbs. Well, where are you gonna come get it? I can feel my face flush. Sierra is also blushing, so I know exactly what this is. I slowly lean in, parting my lips. She places the breaded pork in my mouth. Marry me, Sayori. Well, that was... <clears throat> my turn! Huh? Oh, it's embarrassing if she's the only one who does it, I guess. I hold out a piece of the Wagyu for her. So, uh... Fuck. I love you. I love you too, Ellie. Maybe not so loud this time. Sorry. We finish our meals quietly, and I start to take out my wallet. Don't. Sayori takes out her cute panda wallet. You paid for dinner last time. I want to pay this time. Okay, Sayori, if you insist. There's the skip button. Alright. I kind of figured this was the scene where they would be meeting up, but whatever. The only thing is, like, together. Walking trail. We're gonna walk. Why don't we take, go take a walk? How come every time we get out, you make me exercise? I like that. Relax, Sayori. You're not fat. But she is really soft. And doesn't have too much meat for muscle. Would she have said this if we, uh, hadn't gone to the gym last time? I didn't think you meant this. I'm not dressed for this. It's not a long walk, Sayori. And look, we can see the stars. Well, I guess. Though, I wouldn't mind walking down here again when you're in your shorts. Fan! Hell, you're such a jerk! Okay, it was a joke. I mean, mostly. Sayori and I walk down the path. We watch how the moonlight seems to dance across the still water. Occasionally, we see gentle ripples flow across the lake. So, you mentioned last time that you wanted a career in related health? Well, sort of. I want a career that would help people like me, but I feel like I'm not cut off for anything because I'm... I'm awkward and clumsy and I make dumb decisions. Well, that's insulting. See our last of this. I didn't mean you. Well, who cares if you're any of those things? You're you, Sayori, and I love you. Whatever you want to do, just go for it. Look, isn't the moon beautiful? Yeah. And how do you think it gets that way? The sun? Exactly. It has something to rely on. And something to support it, sort of. Okay, look, the point is, I want to help you. You know, you can talk to me about anything, Sayori. I know. I promise I will soon. Okay, that's all I wanted to hear. So, who's hungry? I am. Okay, then. Let's eat at the cafe. The cafe. Sayori sits down. Oh, here again. How are you, Sayori? You know what? I'll just get some udon. And I'll get some tea Yes, yeah, sir. I'm coming right up. Sayori immediately starts eating her tamak. Tamago Kake Gohan? I don't know what the hell it is. That is the bowl is placed in front of her. God, she's even cute when she's gluttonous. I think there might be something wrong with me. I ate my udon noodles. I really like eating here since it's nice and cozy. Want some? Huh? Oh, sure. I wait for her to pass the bowl over. Instead, she lifts the bowl and holds it halfway across the table. Oh. Well, are you gonna go get it? I can feel my face flush. Sayori's also blushing, so I know exactly what this is. It's all in and parting my lips. She places the rice and egg in my mouth. Marry me, Sayori. Well, that was... <clears throat> Huh? Oh, it's embarrassing if she's the only one who does it, I guess. I held my bowl for her, as swirling the noodles are around my chopsticks. I placed the noodles in her mouth. So, uh, fuck. I love you. Oh, wow. I love you too, Ellie. Maybe not so loud next time. Sorry. We finish our meals quietly, and I start to take out my wallet. Don't. Sayori takes out her cute panda wallet. You paid for dinner last time. I won't pay this time. Okay, Sayori, if you insist. Come again, guys. We're back here once again. I kind of want to go back and check some of these other options that we didn't get to see. Like, just to knock them out real quick. Let's load up this one. We, we did talk about this last time, right? Is it going to show the skips? Maybe I didn't. Hey, Sayori? Yeah? What kind of things do you do for fun? Well, I like almost everything. Poetry, music, even baking. Baking? Well, I mostly just watch Natsuki bake. So Hiragi's a baker. Do you ever help out? Well, I guess you could say that. I help out sometimes as a taste tester. So she just eats whatever Hiragi bakes. Maybe I should ask Hiragi to teach me how to bake. Okay, and that's how we got that other scene later. The poetry and music? Alright, yeah, so we, we did get that one, but it doesn't show the skip. It's because it doesn't have a persistent file. They need to set up the persistent thing so that, like... But, you know, this also might mean they haven't actually copy-pasted anything on their other parts because it's just not remembering anything that goes through the history. It's weird, man. Official novels need their history, bro. We got Gotta set this up. Talk about our classes. So, how are you doing in your classes? I'm doing alright. Well, actually, I've had a lot of trouble with my sleep schedule lately. I'm a pirate all of a sudden. I can tell. Maybe take some time off of work. You mean like PTO? Yeah, just a day or two. Remember? Wait, I remember this too. Did I... Hmm. M maybe we did get to see this whole menu and I'm just dumb. 
Can we enjoy it? Okay, now we do get to see the simple menu. And now I was able to turn on the skip for some reason. You know what, whatever. Let's just... <laughs> Probably because it took us back to the same choice menu. Yeah, I'm just dumb. Alright, no, that's fine. Uh, we were here. Yeah, that's right. So, what did you want to talk about? You seem pretty serious. Well, eh. Here we go. I should just come out and say it. Holly and I. Oh, we're sorry. Had our first time. First time? Doing what? Hmm? Hmm. Ah, you mean so? Yes. Well? I just needed to talk to someone about it. Don't you think you should have talked to none, or at least Rim? Yeah, that's just a little embarrassing. What is? Frying it up with them. Especially Hallie. I mean, what was it? Good? Will you expect more? Where do we go from here? What do you mean? Well, I guess. I guess I just th 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 throw out the things are different after her. I was so scared of holding on to Hallie after he confessed. But now I'm still trying to hold on to him. Sayori, I think all those novels you read are messing with your head. I don't know not as well as you do, but I can tell he's super into you and that that's not changing anytime soon. So don't worry. Things aren't going to just change radically. Natsuki. I hug Natsuki with as much strength as I can use. You'll find someone for you too, Natsuki. What? I'm not looking for it. Whatever. You and Rin just ignore me. You can let go of me now, Sayori. Sorry. So, I made a decision. Well, it was actually Hallie's idea. What was? I'm gonna stop taking my antidepressants. He knows about that? He found them in my bathroom. Oh. Well, I'm proud of you, Sayori. You're lucky to have someone willing to support you. So, enough with the mushy shit. Let's do something, okay? Yeah, okay. I spy who I was looking for. Miho is practicing volley- not volleyball, but volleyball with the local track. Hey, Miho. Hey, Holly. What brings you down here? Just wanted to talk. About Karube? How'd you know? Well, just a guess, honestly. What happened? We took our relationship to the next level. Sorta. Ah, oh, did she regret- No, that's not that. She's just a little... Well, she needs time to process, I suppose. I'm just trying to figure out how I can make her move or, or more comfortable. I don't want her to think I have any expectation, expectations or anything. Would be expectations. Honestly, I'm surprised you guys have gone that far. You don't think about it? That's not really your business. Sorry. But no, I'm not really ready for that kind of thing. Don't worry, I'm sure Carbe is just a little shaken up. Not in a bad way, of course. Oh, I know. She's just worried about us falling apart. But I know we won't, no matter how much time goes by. Well, I'm sure she's a lucky girl. To be honest, I never figured you for a romantic, Hallie. Let me ask you something. Is that how you feel about Sora? <laughs> yeah, I figured. I wonder if that's how Jisaku and Sumi feel. Something tells me that's not exactly the case. Uh, do you want to play some volleyball? Sure. But you're playing volleyball. Hey, Miho. Yeah, what's up, Hallie? I've been thinking, what if it isn't just me? What do you mean? Well, the way she talks about all of it. It makes me think it might be... something else. Well, I'll see you all tomorrow. Yes, as will I. Well, I gotta go. Come by later, Sayori. Okay. If she can. Hiragi rolls her eyes as she exits the room. Hey, Sayori, can you come over here for a bit? Well, I guess, but I was gonna. You'll have time for Hiragi. I want to talk to you about something. Okay. So, what's this all about, Hallie? Well, I was thinking about yesterday. I really feel like this isn't about us. Uh, wait. How about... We're getting an apostrophe to indicate you left off the gate. What? Well, I feel like you're just scared that... Well, about your, um, condition coming back. Well, it's kind of both, really. 
both. I don't understand. Well, I mean, let's say I did start thinking like that again. Would you even want to deal with that? Of course I would, Sayori. I mean, what if everyone starts talking about your depressed girlfriend? Sayori, only assholes would do that. I just don't want to cause anyone in trouble. We're just running in circles now, Sayori. You're not causing trouble for anyone. So stop worrying already. Is that all you wanted to talk to me about? Nope. I got you something yesterday. You got me something? Mm-hmm. Ever heard of a promise pendant? Promise pendant? I reach into my pocket and pull out a locket necklace with a generic rom or romantic engraving on it. I figured we can print out some pictures of ourselves and then put them inside or into the locket. Siori hugs me, burying her face into my shirt. I can feel her tears. Careful, it's a new shirt. <laughs> That's funny. Thank you, Hallie. I love it. I love you. I love you too, Sayori. Hmm. Now let's get you out of that jacket. Hallie! I said jacket. I just want to hug you without going through so many layers. Okay, but I can't stay long. I said I'd go to Natsuki's house soon. Okay, I'll let you go. But only if you brag about what a good boyfriend I am. Sayori rolls her eyes. I'll be sure to send the message. I lie with Sayori on my bed for a few minutes. I could really lie here forever. I hug her soft body. She kind of reminds me of a teddy bear. <laughs> Sayori attempts to escape from my embrace. Hallie, I have to go! Okay, okay. If you want, I'll stay the night. Promise? Sayori rolls her eyes. Promise. I give her one last kiss before she stands up from the bed. Later, babe. Sam, I heard you got busy with Hallie. Wham! Red Rope Sierra or Natsuki punched her. One more word, Rin! Natsuki! Sorry. Actually, I wanted to show you this. I showed the necklace around my neck. Hallie called it a promise pendant. Promise pendant? Like a promise ring? I guess. It's supposed to show that we're like really together now for a long time, I mean. I know what it means, Sayori. I hope you really do stay together. After school. We... we will. Natsuki... Er, no, it's, it's not her thinking. Natsuki looks at the writing on the locket. Looks kind of generic, no offense. Well, it's just something that he bought. Well, now we got all that out of the way. Let's do something fun. Like what? Like a bake. <laughs> you haven't changed much, huh? Huh? Since that day. Uh, maybe not. But you have. <laughs> Even though Rin opened her mouth. You've been so much happier lately. Well, that's thanks to my mom and you and Hallie. And me, too. And I'll let therapy, too. You know, I want to get something for him, too. And I know just the thing to... Bam! Oh, I was going to say you should... Oh, that, or whatever guy likes. <laughs>